everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. So this is project number three for this year's Mother's Day series and this is a larger version of the swivel lid gift boxes that I've made. So I have I think two of them now and I will link them up here and they are They've been smaller, I think they're more like two by two kind of size. One was for a tooth fairy box, which I thought was really sweet. And I was just looking back through some of my tutorials and I thought I'm gonna revisit that one again and make a larger size. So this one here, how it works, you just twist the lid and you've got your box. And you can see here, it's just on a brad, so you can move it any way that you want. And I was looking through my dies and this is the gorgeous sunflower die by Bright Rosa and it's stunning. I've used it on one card previously, which I gave, I didn't do a tutorial, I gave it to a friend, and then I'd done a couple of samples with it, but I haven't shared it on a tut on an actual tutorial, so I thought I would do it today, and I just think it's fabulous. Really, really like this one. Of course, it doesn't just have to be for Mother's Day. You can, you know, give this for many occasions. I just think it's a really happy looking gift box. It's very straightforward to make, and I'll show you, you know, give you some tips and stuff on how to make it without this die as well. So let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so this is what I'm using today. This is the die set. So like I said, this is the Bright Rosa Sunflower Band. Now I have the flower band, I have the heart band, I have the, oh gosh, there's some others as well. It's a really nice stamp set range that she's done with these bands. So you can do pop-up features, you can do big belly bands with them. There's some really nice um, effects. And I have, like I said, I've done the flower and a few of the other ones in um, other tutorials. What I'll do is if I can, I will link them in here into maybe like a, a bright rosa playlist maybe so you can just have a little look at there if you're fans of the dies as well so what i would say in order for you to be able to make this if you don't have this die you want something that is going to be and the largest point here so let's say six inches you know whether you're going to do a square or you know whatever shape but it has to be you know around six inches so you can do just a nice circle you could do a square, you can do a rectangle as long as it's, you know, well, probably if you do a rectangle, you'd have to do a rectangle base. So if you do a circle, a square or a flower, you can stick with the square base that I'm going to be showing you today. And um, yeah, have a look at the two that I've done here as well, because one of them was a circle and I can't picture the other one, but I'm sure I have done another one. But on the back here, you get all the different parts to make the flower up. So I'm going to talk through the flower in a moment. First of all, I'm just going to make up the box and um, the little bit that goes inside to, it kind of acts as a hinge. You, you can't really see it, but it's just here. There's this little triangle piece where the brad sits on for you to be able to, um, you know, position this one. Now, this one here I did make as a four by four box, but it just covers just there with the leaves. So I'm gonna, I've shrunk this one down so it's three and three quarters by three and three quarters. And I think by just bringing it in a little bit, it's gonna sit much better underneath that flower and for the size, that six inch size that I give you. So what you want is a piece of 12 by 12. It's reinforced on the sides, just to again, add some strength because you have got this kind of sitting on there and this piece here needed like a good strong side to, to stick to. So, what you want to do is along the 12 inch side you want to score at one and a half, four and one eighth of an inch, seven and seven eighths of an inch and ten and a half and then rotate and score again. So one and a half, four and one eighth of an inch, seven and seven eighths of an inch and ten and a half. Okay, we don't need the scoreboard for the other bit when we do that. Now you want to go and fold and burnish all of these score lines. Okay, so that's all the score lines. Then we're gonna do some cutting. So because it's reinforced, lots of you will be familiar with this and what you need to do. But you're just gonna focus on two sides. It doesn't matter which ones, because obviously they're the same, but I'm gonna do this side and then the opposite side. So first of all, starting with the outer score line here, you're going to cut down past the first score line and down to the second one. So past this is the first, this is the second one, and then you're going to cut up this side and just remove that piece completely. Okay. Then you want to cut down this one, again past the first and down to the second. And then this time you're going to cut away just the top piece. 
Okay, and then take a wedge off of that side and a wedge off of that side and just take a little bit off of here. Don't go too crazy but just enough so it doesn't kind of catch on anything when you fold this all in. Okay so that's a corner there. Then we want to go ahead and work on this side here. So again I'll just fold that one away. You're going to cut down this score line past the first down to the second and again past the first and down to the second one. I should use my longer scissors here but I've started pulling these out a lot. And then this end one again you're going to remove this completely and then this top one again take that away and then you can take a little wedge off the top of this one because we didn't do that one and again there and then nice wedges off of here because this is all going to fold in so we, we want to be able to you know get nice sides to the box and then just take again another piece off of there so if I just lie that down you can see the end that we want to achieve. So we just removed the three sections that were here and then just taken wedges off of all of those pieces. So then you want to just flip the whole thing around now so you're working on the opposite side and do exactly the same again. So just repeat cutting down all of these score lines and removing the three sections from each corner. That's where you need to be at this point so if you want to pause the video just so you can get a better view of that then we're going to start sticking it down so these four pieces here are our big tabs to go in on the side so you're going to add glue to each one do one at a time and then just bring up the sides okay so it's like that just bringing up those sides spread out some of that glue there we go and just make sure that sticks down. And then I'm going to do the opposite side, it's just a little bit easier. And then again, bring up that side. And then you just want to add glue to the other two. And then you just need to just pop them both in and push them down inside. And that way you can just stick them both at the same time. Okay, and I'm just going to just carefully fold those back out and then you just want to put glue on all four tabs and then fold them all in and just spend a few minutes just going in and spreading out all that glue and really burnishing the sides there so you get a nice crisp finish. Okay, so that's all done and that's just going to start to firm up really nicely. Then we've got this piece here which is one by three I think it was. Yeah, one by three and what you want to do is first of all with a pencil just mark halfway. So one and a half along the long side there. Just put a pencil mark. Okay, so you can see there just in the middle. And then what you want to do is from that point, that pencil mark, is bring this down if you use like your grid put the pencil mark you know find a line any line it doesn't matter and bring this down so it lines you fold it right in the middle so that it lines up with this line in my case so you're just folding it in I like that but you want to make sure that that's nice and straight and just burnish it and again with this side just using that as my guide and just burnish that okay so you'll have like that like a little plane and then keep it folded in half and just follow along that fold and just trim off the excess there okay so it's a bit easier to do it that way for everyone to follow just think that's the the simplest kind of way to do it I mean you could I guess you could have just done that at two because I think we just cut away Is that two inches now then so I guess it's actually two yeah two by one and then you don't have to cut anything but either way that's what you want to do just fold it in half 
And then what's going to happen is we're going to put glue on these two pieces and we're going to stick it into the corner like that. But before you do that, grab another piece of cardstock and just trace around it. So just pop it up into the corner of the cardstock and just draw a pencil line. I'm just going to cut right across there and then cut in a little bit so I remove that pencil. And then I'm just going to reinforce the top of it because we're going to be popping a brad through it. So I'm just going to pop some glue just on the top like so and then just sit that piece on the top there. So just reinforce the top. The sides are okay because they're going to reinforce themselves against all of this, you know, so it'll become very secure. But the top's just got that one layer, but then if we add that on. And now that's going to sit in the corner. Okay, so before I put all that in, I just want to show you how to build up the flower again, because I know some of you will have that die. So what I've done first of all is cut two pieces. So I'm just doing the reverse colours of this one. So keep all that in there for the minute. So I've gone ahead and die cut two of the actual band. So if I just take it out so you can see. So this one here, you'll see has got the band. So I've cut two of them out. And then all you want to do is just snip away. And they've got those two little kind of pieces that connect it, but it's there also for you to snip away. So you have got a large topper. So again, just that one. It's very easy to do. Just follow along the cut there and you wouldn't even know. And again on this one. We've got those two. So I'm having this cream one on the bottom and then I'm just going to offset that one slightly on the top. Then I have gone and die cut the next size up. So I'll keep that one there. Then we've done this one here and I've done one of them in this kind of coral colour. And that's going to again go on top like so. And then I have done one of this one here and that's in the cream. And it gives you that shape there. And again, that's just going to kind of go like so. And then I have done, oh, falling out there, this one. I love this one. And I've done it in gold here. And that's going to go like so. And then I have done the small one, because there's actually two bands. You've got the smaller one here as well. So again, you can do really nice pop-up features with that one. And then I've done this one here. And that's going to go in the middle. And then to finish it off, I have done these ones here, which give me this effect. And then I'm going to pop one of the toppers from the paper posies. And I think I'm going to do, I think I might do happy days. I think that would be quite nice to go in the centre of it. So that's what I've done. But I want to shape them a little bit. So the, t the bottom two, I'm going to leave flat because that's going to be the strong kind of base. You'll see there, those ones are just completely flat. It's everything on top that I've added dimension to. So those I just do with my finger, but these ones here, if you've got a soft, oh, I've got a little rogue gem there, but if you've got a soft pad, this is just the foam from my Tim Holtz stamping platform when I got it delivered, and then a piece of black foam, fun foam I think it was. But with that, and then I've just got one of these, um, they're for flower um, shaping for your icing, you know, for baking, but I just use them here as well. But you just want to turn it up over. I mean, this has got a textured side, so that's the top, but turn it over and just from the top of the petal, just kind of roll it in and it will start to curl up. And I just like to, it just kind of brings them to life a little bit. So I kind of do three, I do one on that side, one on that side, and then one right through the middle and the whole thing will lift up. And then it's great to then go in and distress because, you know, if you've got a plain white card, all of these kind of creases if you distress them in the right kind of colours, actually bring the leaf to like life and make it look quite realistic. So I'm just going to go and do that on this one here and also on this one. And then when I've done that side, I just flip it over. You can use the larger side there, but just roll on that side as well. And it just really transforms it from being a flat piece to this, you know, really cool looking flower. So now we need to stick it all together. So I'm going to use again my glue here. I'm just going to put a splodge in the middle of this one. And then just sit that one on top. And just start to build it up. This one here, I think I'm going to use, I might use my hot glue actually. Just put a new glue stick in there. Hot 
glue is really good when you you know attach and build flowers because it, it gives it more dimension as well because this is just a big topper you know you can go quite mad with it really and these one here I'm just going to stick them down still while they're flat and then once they're attached you can go in and just kind of curl them really with between your finger and your thumb all is that you put that on top of a, a present you know you do that in like Christmas colors or do it all in holographic cardstock. Oh, because I only done a little bit on that one there. You can see just on the top. If you imagine the whole thing, like I done the big bow with the ultimate bow by Simply Made Crafts, that was really cool. I love that. I use that so many times. Whenever I've got a wrapper present, I always get that one out and uh, make nice toppers with it. But now that's dry. You can just bend just the ends, just curl them, and again it just lifts it up. But because you've attached it, it's a bit easier to pull because I have before, you know, been quite heavy handed and kind of ripped petals off. But because this is now kind of attached, it's a little bit easier for you to pull it a little bit. Again, just with the small ones there. Okay, and also, you know, don't worry if you don't have this because you can use the ends of, you know, like maybe you've got your Nouveau drops or something that's got like a rounded edge. I'm just looking like the end of that, you know, that would work to, to create some texture and shape. So just have a look at what's in front of you because sometimes you'll find just your, you know, your pens and things like that will work. Or maybe, I don't know, I've, I'm just looking, I've got some USB sticks. The ends of those are quite smooth, so I could probably use them to, to create shapes. So, um, yeah, have a little look. Then I've got these ones here. So, again, I'm just going to add, yeah, I'm going to glue this one down. And then I've put foam. Um, yeah, was it this one I did? Yeah, it was this one. And then I'm going to add foam dimension to this one. Oh, and then... I think I'm going to use the happy days oh yeah I think that's going to look really nice in the middle of that one because then that one will work for well to be honest they both work for birthdays and stuff but that one I think I am going to I've got something in mind for that one but now if I bring that up you can you know still shape this one a little bit but because it's going to slide onto the box you know I definitely wouldn't do the bottom one but you can create a little bit there you just don't want that to kind of catch too much really there we go it's really come to life so don't be afraid to really go for it with these and really lift them up but look at that it's absolutely stunning I love these kind of dies things that you can really I, I don't know you can just do a lot with them so next we need to now work out where we're going to attach the brad okay so I'm going to lay this down on top of here and it now covers that box much better than, I mean, this one still covers it fine. I'm, I'm definitely using this box, but I, I just don't have a lot of, you've got to really line it up for it to cover. But this one here, because I've gone in by a quarter of an inch, it just makes it a bit easier. I love that. Now, if you obviously want to decorate your sides, you can do, but I just really like just having that flower on the top. So there's so much interest with that. Okay, so we want to stick this one down. You might want to line your pencil up with it first, but I actually think once this is stuck in place, I'm just using a pokey tool and it's really easy. So, um, you know, watch the video as I always say, and then you can decide if you want to do it a different, you know, in a different sequence to me. So I'm just going to push kind of my finger underneath there and just push against the sides whilst you use your other hand to push on the outside there. Pop it on its side. You want to just get it as flush with the top as possible because this that's the whole point. This, you know, you can see there it runs completely flush with the top. So you, do, you don't want it to, you know, dip down inside because it would just affect the mechanism a little bit really. You want it to be nice, have a nice smooth kind of, um, you know, twist. I'm going to be sitting this on top. So what I would say to do is turn this over and sit this on here. And you just want to lay it down so that it is sitting on a leaf in my case, or whether you're, if you're using a circle, you just want to make sure it's within the circle. If you're using a square, make sure it's within the square. But here, it's kind of sitting on this cream one here, this cream one here, this cream one, and this cream one. So with a pencil, because I can rub it all out in a minute, I just want to mark just kind of roughly so I know where I want to put my hole punch. So I've just put little markers there 
and then I want to make sure I've got this up the right way. So I'm going to be, and then just kind of look where your pencil mark is. And um, if you've, I mean, you may want to stick that down last because it might, you know, cause you a few problems. I can, you know, I know what I'm doing, but I would say maybe if you've got a sentiment, don't stick it down yet. Do that very at the very end because then you know if you've got it the right way up. So, but on here, in within this section, so if I sit that back on there again, so it's going to be more. Yeah, I'm actually going to take this off because it's going to throw me. Because it's that foam from there, it's okay, yeah, no problems. All right, let's do it again. Yeah, so it is going to be within there. So I want to come in, you just basically, I need to do it and then show you. It's hard to really kind of say in words, but let me just grab my little tool here. You want to come in. like so and because not everybody's going to have this obviously it's hard for me to give a measurement but I've come in like an inch from where I've drawn that pencil mark so if you're using the same as me you can see there what I've done you know you've got two of the petals and then I've marked one two of the petals marked one two marked one two and then on the one of one of them that I've marked I've come down there it's probably about a quarter of an inch and then I've come down an inch and put the hole punch okay and then you're going to sit this over here and I can just lift this all up like so. Make sure that's all on top. And then I'm just going to put a pencil mark because it's all hanging over the right amount. Just put a pencil on there. I'll probably come in a little bit. Uh, that's going to be quite close to the, the edge there. Let's just see if I can move that up a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to come up a little bit because it won't affect it, it'll still cover it just there. And then with my pokey tool, just very carefully push through, see, make sure it's stuck down. But you may want to do that before and you can see you're just coming up about a quarter of an inch within the middle of that piece. Okay, so it's, it's all easy stuff to do. I just, I do, sometimes I do it a different way so maybe you might find it easier to put together, I, I don't know. But now I'm going to grab a brad. It doesn't really matter the colour. I guess maybe I should do, let's just grab a yellowy one. At least then it won't stand out too much. So I'm going to pop it in there. And then if you do it that way, pop it in there. Okay, it's hard for you to see. It's, it's gone through. And then just open out the split pin. And really push it, you know, squash it together well. And just push my leaves down a little bit there. And my petals. And then that now. So this is why you don't want to curl the bottom ones too much because mine are catching. So I'm actually going to, oh, that's nice. I'm going to flick them up that way instead because you can have them facing any way you want. At least that way they're definitely not going to catch. But now, there we go. And close up my box. Doesn't that look gorgeous? And then I can see now where the front of the box is because I can line that one up and I'm actually going to attach this with a bit of hot glue. So have a look at the playlist, have a look at the other sizes. You might find, if you've not done one before, maybe just work with a circular shape or a square. And then you could always put the flower on top of that. So, you know, play around, have a look. They, they are straightforward to make. You just need to make sure that whatever you're having is going to cover that box well. So um, the little Tooth Fairy one was really sweet, actually. I did like that one a lot. But yeah, there you have it. I think they're really, really pretty. Okay, so there they are, and I think they're absolutely gorgeous. Also, I thought they would be nice little trinket boxes as well. So, you know, you could put something different in there, in the middle. You might just want to not have a sentiment and just have a nice embellishment or something, because it's really nice to have on your side table or in your craft room. You know, you might want to put like, I don't know, some washi tapes in there or some rubbers, you know, some glue tape runners, things like that. It's a nice size, and then that just sits over the top. And then there's that one as well, again really really nice so yeah have a look at the playlists it will be linked all along this video so you can check them out as well but yeah very pleased with these so i hope you enjoy them hope you give them a go thank you for watching as always please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing so you get to see more thanks for watching bye